I don't blame you for not noticing. Virgo hasn't suddenly betrayed the Marines. He's a pirate through and through. He enlisted in the Marines and spent 15 years climbing through the ranks. There isn't a more useful and trustworthy person in his employ, because Virgo has been Doflamingo's man from the very start. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today we're going to be opening up the book on one of the more infamous Vice Admirals of the series, Virgo. Virgo, also known as Demon Bamboo Virgo for reasons that we'll explore later, is a very tall and lean man who appears to take great care of his facial hair, only to have his image constantly ruined by, well, whatever he was eating that day. So let's address that right at the outset. As this video goes on, you'll notice that Mr. Virgo may, at any given time, have something food or food related stuck to his face. And this strangety is simply due to the fact that Virgo is an exceptionally messy eater, not only failing to maneuver his meals to the end goal of his mouth, but consistently and accidentally managing to equip them to his face. And once again, I'll say that this is unintentional and a quirk that has been possessed by Virgo ever since childhood. For example, as you can see here, Virgo at the age of 10, he has a uh, sandwich stuck to his face. But another factor that Virgo has retained since his young years is a general sense of shrewdness and seriosity. No, seriosity is not a word. Yes, I used it anyway. Although some of this can likely be attributed to the fact that by the age of 10, Virgo was already part of one of the most notorious crime syndicates the world would ever know, led by the ex-world noble Don Quixote do Flamingo. Virgo, along with three other future elite officers, developed an exceptionally strong allegiance to Doflamingo and would go so far as to kill anybody who even vaguely annoyed him. As a result, Virgo was issued the code name Corazon, meaning heart in Spanish, and corresponding to a suit of cards. Virgo would go on to hold this name for 16 years, after which point he was ordered by Doflamingo to infiltrate the Marines, which had the side effect of allowing Doflamingo's brother, Rosinante, to succeed the title and become the second Corazon. In the meantime, Virgo began to climb his way up the ranks of the Marines, eventually being transferred to the notoriously rough G5 base in the New World and working hard to gain the trust and influence required amongst the organization to be of assistance to Doflamingo. And about six months after being transferred, Virgo would receive this opportunity after he was assigned to Swallow Island in order to help retrieve the Ope Ope no Mi. Now, very, very long story short, this fruit had been stolen by Rosinante, the current Corazon, who did so to help out a young Trafalgar Law. But as it turned out, Rosinante was essentially the exact opposite of Virgo, an agent of the Marines who had infiltrated the Don Quixote family. And he would have gotten away with it as well if it wasn't for this meddling Virgo, who was the very first Marine Law encountered when trying to deliver a message from Rosinante and well, things went downhill from there. Not downhill for Virgo, of course, who promptly disposed of the message, beat up Rosinante, and called his lord and savior Doflamingo to the island to deal with them personally. And throughout this whole process, Virgo displayed a very sadistic and cruel nature, which was a very stark contrast to the public face he wore when amongst the Marines, often presenting himself as a very friendly and open individual, becoming a very popular figure amongst the G5 division. And in the years following, Virgo continued working his way up the organization, even managing to attain the incredibly high rank of Vice Admiral, as well as becoming the commander of G5. As a result of this power, Virgo was able to pull even more strings to assist Doflamingo, which includes, but is not limited to, abducting children to be used as test subjects for the inhumane research of Caesar Clown, a business partner of Doflamingo on Punk Hazard. And actually, it would be the island of Punk Hazard where we as an audience would meet Virgo for the first time in the series, as he took part in efforts to prevent the Straw Hats as well as a contingent of G5 Marines and an all grown up Trafalgar Law from ruining Caesar's experiments. And as a result, we would be treated to the fighting style of Demon Bamboo Virgo. Throughout the arc, Virgo proved exceptionally powerful, having faced off against opponents such as Trafalgar Law, Smoker, and Sanji, none of whom proved capable of facing Virgo alone in prolonged combat. Combat. For example, in the case of Sanji, Virgo was easily able to keep up with the Straw Hat Chef's agility and proved physically dominant as he was able to fracture a bone in Sanji's leg with a single kick. Furthermore, as a high-ranking Marine, Virgo appears to have been trained in the Rokushiki techniques, having displayed Tekai, Soru, Gepo, and Shigun. And you know, it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility to say that he may have some mastery of Rankyaku and Kami-e, because that's just the kind of relentless individual Virgo is, always working hard to broaden and deepen his arsenal of attacks, to be of assistance to Doflamingo. Speaking of, Virgo displayed played the ability to use two forms of haki being observation and armament, but we're particularly focused on the latter as it appears to be Virgo's preferred method of combat. Quite specifically, Virgo favors imbuing a bamboo stick with haki and using it as an exceptionally deadly blunt force weapon. However, this is far from the extent of Virgo's abilities and in fact, he is one of the few individuals in the series who has demonstrated the art of coating their entire body in haki. Although unfortunately, we never really got to see this form in action as shortly after activating it, he was sliced in half at the waist by Trafalgar Law, who with the help of Smoker was able to over 
overcome him. And that wasn't even the worst of it though, because after this defeat, Vogo was extensively dismembered to the point where he was just a face sliced in half, really. And of course, Vogo was still alive after all of this as a result of Law's devil fruit at work. However, the whole being alive thing wouldn't last too long either, as the room the trio had been fighting in was set to explode. And in his final moments, Vogo was contacted by Dolph Lomingo, who proceeded to express his deep regret for what was about to happen and sincerely thanked Vogo for his service over the years. Following this, Vogo simply smiled as he was engulfed in the deadly explosion, with Dolph Lomingo later going on to confirm his death. Some more fun facts about Virgo. Interestingly enough, Virgo and his Corazon counterpart, Rosinante, are the only elite officers within the Don Quixote family to have had their real names revealed, whereas Pika, Treble, and Diamante remain ever so mysterious. Prior to his untimely demise, Virgo had something of a morning eating ritual, which I suppose we'll call some sort of breakfast, which consisted of a hamburger, fries, and a strawberry milkshake. And finally, a truly useless fact, because that last fact wasn't quite useless enough, Virgo once claimed to Caesar Clown that he had been snacking on coffee and cookies, only to be told shortly afterwards that there had never been any cookies. But that pretty much does it for Virgo. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101. Ah yes, Splithead the Shithead. I know him well. I mean, he's your father. I mean, he's not. He's actually not. He's not, but like, it's fun to pretend he is, so yeah. Ha. Ha ha ha.